Hey people, how we doing? Let's see if we can get this working today. What's going on? I'm gonna come here and see if I can share this to my main page. No, it won't let me. Yeah, it will. Got to be. <clears throat> Got to be smarter in the software. All right. Going live on the mail works page. All right. Now that I've shared that, it'll go to my personal page. People will hopefully join us from there. So what's everybody up to tonight? We are, what are we working on? We're working on this Orca inlay out of engineer plastic rings. And it's coming along. We're kind of getting somewhere. All right. Soon it'll be done and we'll hook it up mounted on a wall somewhere in my basement here. All right, let me show you. All right, is that, does that kind of look like a an orca? All right, we got the tail over here, dorsal fin up here, right? Here's the two front fins. I don't know. I hate the fact that I don't have a a good camera but that's okay we'll figure it out we'll get there eventually right one of the things that I've learned especially with chain mail is that when you want to do something the best thing to do is to get started on it no matter how No matter how many tools you lack, right? And everything will come together incrementally. At least in chain mail, right? As long as you continue to work on a project, that project will eventually get done. No matter how big it is, whether it's a coffee cup wrap, or a bracelet, or a necklace, or a shirt, right? Shirts take forever. You're working on an elf sheet dress. Nice. Very nice. One of the cool things I think it came out this year was a hoodoo hex dress someone made. I thought that was awesome. All right, I got to I got to count here. Two. I think there's a, a ring down here. All right, let me show you what I'm doing. So these are engineer pro plastic rings. You can get them from the ring lord. They're fun. You can open them, close them with your hand, though. Might kill your fingertips. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we can go a little bit further forward on this one. On this row here. So what are you making your elf sheet dress out of? Gordon, if you're still here. Working on 30 and 30 inch of enthrall for a necklace and then someone else has ordered a necklace and bracelet in enthrall. 19 inches, 18 gauge 316 using half rubber rings like the EPDM rings. Congratulations on your order, Claire. I love it when people I know make money. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. The ever-present question, am I doing this right? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
So for the for the 18 gauge 316 rings, what is the other half of the rings you're using? A bit insane. Yeah, it's a bit insane, all right. That's okay. Um I don't have any elf weave lying around. Do I? Maybe. Oh, uh, you know what? Hang on. Ugh. Where'd it go? There it is. Ugh. No, that's not elf weave. That's something else entirely. I'll show it to you anyway. Um, I've done elf weave bracelets. I'm trying to think if I have any major projects in elf weave. Like a big wrap or something. Bright aluminum, trying to, yeah, trying to keep the weight down on a project like that. All right. This, right. This is uh, strips of GSG. And to connect them, I used interwoven four in one to get them together. Let's see, can we, can we get some more? More light on this. All right. And that's not the elf weave piece I wanted to show you, but that is a guitar strap. Ugh. And the uh, the leather ends, I need to redo those, um, which is a pain in the butt, right? But I want to redo them because I want to make them a little bit longer to keep them off of the guitar, to keep the, the rings off the guitar as best as possible, right? So, one, two, three, that's eight. How many is that? One, two, five, six. Oh, we're missing some rings down here. So I'm going to redo the leather ends. It's on, it's on my leather table, right? I've got, oh, I don't know, 10 projects right in this area that my goal is to get them done as soon as possible, sooner rather than later. But uh, And that's why we do these streams, right? Twice a week, I have to come down here and work on a project. Right. I'd like to be down here a lot more working on projects. Um, but I want to have content for for the stream. Right. So if I do everything off stream, you know, it might take longer to get stuff done, but at least we'll have stuff that you can watch me do. Right. So come down here, do the stream. Ten different rings for this enthral. I don't. You don't have that many products on the go. Okay. I think I understand what you're saying. All right. Where was I? Holding myself accountable for doing these um, projects. And then, you know, this stuff all gets turned to a blog post that goes on my website that ideally will one day put me in high SEO rankings so that people will organically go to my store. People don't typically go to mailworks.com because that's a really obscure name and I should have thought about it a little bit more. Um, eight. And, uh, you know, I, I try to get as much free reach as I can because advertising is expensive and 
I try to take advantage of everything free that I can do. And that's why we're here. The thing about stream when you go to pull all, all the chunks together, you should. You should definitely do it. It's kind of fun, you know. Sitting here, you got a couple people watching. Hanging out. And I'm, I would be sitting here talking to myself anyway. So might as well make use of that time, I think. I don't know. It makes sense in my head. I don't know if it'll actually work, right? I'm told that if you upload content weekly for a long period of time, it's good search engine optimization for your website. At least that is how I understand it. So, hopefully it works. All right. You're going to have to do a tier order for the first time soon. Yeah, Beat Sisters is closing. Yeah. Are they are they having a, a going out of business sale where you can get some good deals? All right. Arr. Let's see. Hopefully they are. I've already seen someone begin to make plans to start selling rings out there in the UK. 10% off? Yeah. That's not great, but it's better than nothing. You know? Now, are they quitting or are they... Like, did they have some... Um, are they... Uh, like going out of business because they're not making enough sales are or is it like a health problem sorry didn't mean to spit at the computer <clears throat> they're retiring that's that makes sense that's an acceptable reason i'm surprised they didn't try and find someone to buy them out like outright like as a as a branded business I wonder if they did. I don't know who runs that or anything. It's not it's not my part of the world over there. I've been over there for like an hour. That was it. I think this ring goes here. I don't even know. Am I counting anymore? Huh? Yeah. All right. Per all right, let's put the camera back on the project here. I think that, uh, and you know, I'm obviously not part of the ring lord or anything, but you would think that that would be something they would be interested in branching out to, you know, the UK. So, but I also don't know what Beat Sisters setup was. Um, do they make their own rings? Because if they do, you would think, I need to make a shower curtain. See, I would have to do, that would have to be like a, a print design. You know? Oh, they import directly from TRL? Huh. Um, this ring doesn't go here. Okay. Is, is there any other setup in the UK that, uh, that actually does make their own rings? Or is it 
is everyone wholesale from the ring lord because i would i would surmise that that is where your margins would be is in being able to make it yourself versus uh having to buy it wholesale from someone all right where are we at here no one makes them one person sells hyperlinks yeah So it seems like seems like a good time for someone to come in and start uh, offering, you know, rings and various materials to the good chain mailers of the United Kingdom or where, wherever you guys are at specifically, right? Ooh, I don't need that many more rings. Okay. There, there are plans afoot. For well, good for you. Good for you. Do, do something. You know, right? Like, I run Mailworks because I wanted chainmail themed stuff for myself and for my house, and you know. Didn't want to make rings because one of my first shirts was a uh, European six in one galvanized steel, um, 14 gauge three eighths rings. Um, and it's a heavy bastard. And once I found the ring Lord, I was like, I was, I'll never make rings ever again. You know, the three used pliers of aluminum, clean ring in the Netherlands. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of room for improvement. That's cool. You should do that. You should totally do that, man. All right. I don't even know where I'm at here. Four, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's correct. Five, six, one, two, three, four, five. One more ring here. Same. Uh, all right, let's put it back down here. Trying to figure out how many more rings we need in each. Row, so we can finish off this dorsal fin and then we'll finish off the face, right? And then we'll get to fixing these uh, clear rings. All right. Which hopefully we won't have too many more fractures from those. And one, two, three. All right. That's that row. Am I not? I'm a row off here somewhere. Got a row off somewhere. That's okay. I was supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to come in here and fix this earlier today, but I did not have time. And so now we're suffering because because I forget when I did have time. Okay, it's not true. I did have time. I just didn't do it because I forgot. 
Um, the show must go on, right? It's okay. Um, uh, Amanda, I am using the engineer plastic rings from the Ring Lord. Mm -hmm. They come in three different colors, black, white, and clear. Err. There, hopefully you can see those. I can't tell if you can see them or not. Um, and we're making a fish. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to count here. It sucks when... Uh, It sucks trying to talk and count rings at the same time. Let's see here. One, two, that's correct. Count one. Count two. Count three. Count one, two. Count one, two. So this is correct. Oh, okay. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. Yeah, they, they have like two sizes or two or three, like 10 gauge, 11 gauge, and 12 gauge. These are the 11 gauge half inch rings, right? All right. We can, from this row up, we can finish this dorsal fin. We'll focus on that for right now. Because I screwed up. That one. And then. Yeah, this needs to come out. You got some in a grab bag that they were huge, like how huge, like inch inch wide ones. No, that did go here. I don't even know what I'm doing. I can't count. Can't count. I don't know which row I'm on. That's okay. This... It'll turn out all right. Maybe. Three. All right. All right. Ugh. Goodness. Some of these are just impossible to close. Loads of fun. And up one. Uh, all right. One. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. 
caught up with all the comments. I am. Alright, I got it says I got one person watching. Is that Claire? Are you still here? Because I was wondering, I know that you had set up a stream. And I was curious how that was going. Does that look like a dorsal fin? I can't tell. Ugh. Um. Let's see here. Let's do this, and then I think we're gonna call it good on this part. You're still here. How did your stream go? How has your streaming gotten? Have you gotten a chance to do it a lot? There. I think that's a dorsal fin. You can't tell from the angle the camera's at. You streamed once, Gunja and I fell asleep, and it's two it's two in the morning there. What are you doing up? If I sit up till two in the morning, I'm not like I'm not moving. That's what happened to me Saturday night. I stayed up way too late. It's 3.27 a.m. I think I didn't screw this up. And I also bought a lot more white rings than I needed. I bought like the same amount of black and white rings. I don't know why. But uh, it looks like... That orcas are mostly black, and so I don't really need the white ring. <laughs> All right. That's okay. We'll stick them in a D stash group and sell them to get rid of them. Because I'm not, I'm not buying more of these, you know. Right? Like this whole the point of this project and of many projects is to get rid of these rings because they've just been sitting here for forever right i bought them to play with and then never did anything with them so all right and if you're if you're watching this on the replay and you've made it this far you know, to anyone watching this in the future and you made it this far, always have a plan for what rings you buy. Because then otherwise you end up like me with a whole bunch of rings that you have no idea what you want to do with. And, you know, they just sit there until your creative juices get flowing or you have to do what I'm doing, which is kick myself in the butt to go and get these done. You hate your voice, so you're being a bit nervous. Okay, so I hate my recorded voice, right? Um, and I hate the way I sound in voice messages. So I won't, like, I get to the voice message, I hang up, because I can't stand listening to me. Why would anyone else want to hear that, right? Um, 
I don't know what your voice sounds like. Um, but I imagine it's probably not as terrible as you think. So don't be afraid to stream. And, right, like, I don't stream. You have a 400 types of rings. Right, yeah, you have to buy the whole store just to make it worthwhile. Um, and most people will never see this, right? Like, I'm not going to become a politician and have them dig up a bunch of chainmail videos on me, you know. So, that is really wonky. Um, so do it anyway, you know. I don't ever plan on being successful on on YouTube or have a thousand people on my Facebook lives, right? I do it for the social media content and the blog content and the backlinks to my store. Um, that's it. I mean, like I said, I would be sitting here talking to myself anyway. So I might as well make good use of my time, you know? All right, I had a, a ring wrong. Or do I? Did I have two ring wrong, two rings, two wrong rings? Your first stream? Yeah, I'll see if I can find some time to watch it. Give you a, give you a subscribe little deal there because I go back through and like heart react everyone's comments I should be commenting on everyone's comment but I don't Uh, we're going to actually finish this, the Orca portion of this tonight, which is awesome because, let me show you what we're working on here. It's a fish, can you tell? Here's the tail and the dorsal fin, and we're making the head up here. Right. Okay. Um, do I have more black rings? Wouldn't that be if I don't have more black rings in here, I'm gonna throw a fit. It's not looking good. You've gotta be kidding me. One bag, one bag left and all this clear and white, which, you know, it's good that we have a lot of the white. We'll make the, the loops to hang it from out of the white rings. Get rid of those. All right. <sighs> Big sigh of relief there. Cause I thought that I uh, was going to have to stop and order more of these rings. Okay. You're a bit conf Okay, so. Right, like, this is the portion on the belly, right? All this here. Okay, and this is a fin. So if this is the left side of the animal, this is the left fin and this is the right fin. So it's coming out from underneath. And the white of the orca belly goes through here. And then this is the white up near the part of the eye, right? So I'm sure it'll look fine once it's all put together. We just gotta get there, you know? All right.
We'll use up as many white and acrylic rings as we can. Um, okay. Um, echo. I go. I gotta, I gotta count for three. That goes all the way down. Urgh. I swear. I don't know what I'm. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. There's a mistake in here that threw me off in a lot of places somewhere, and I don't know where it's at. So. From here, one, I like it when I look up and I realize that I'm not, I don't have my project on screen because I'm not paying enough attention. All right. Of course I screwed up. Why would the why would I put a ring in the right place? Doing bigger projects with smaller rings is gonna be so much fun. I can't wait, I tell ya. You use two cameras? Yeah. I am trying to get two cameras. Right? That would be really nice. And that's another reason why we're doing this, right? Like, like I said, I don't know if you're here for the beginning of the stream or not. Um, but it's like what I found is that if you just get started on a project, um, you will eventually have all of the things you need for what you want to do, right? Like for this, I use what tools I have, and that's what I got, right? Um. You know, for every chainmail project I've ever done, the biggest indicator that it was going to get finished was me coming or me working on it, you know, with with whatever I had at the time. All right. So I would love two cameras. Believe me. And it's just a matter of uh, making, you know, sales on mailworks.com in order to fund this aspect of it, you know? I don't don't know if it's gonna work, but I hope it does. All right, where are we at here? Um, it still goes out quite a bit farther forward. Okay. Yeah. Well, 
one day Mailworks will fund itself and it'll fund toys for me so that I can do cool stuff like this. And it's all, it's all the grunt work like this, making streams, even though they're crappy and I'm not, you know, I'm far from the most entertaining person in the world, right? Ah. So it's all the leg work that'll get us there, right? One, two, three. That doesn't go there. Pretty sure that goes there. I need one more ring up here. Yeah, when I was supposed to be like making sure this was correct earlier, I wasn't. I was watching. Uh, what was I watching? The Queen's Gambit, and it's on Netflix. I don't know how they make chess so interesting, um, but they did a really good job of uh, making it interesting. I watched it. I thought there was some cool aspects to it. You know, like the, the filmography, the, the way they did their shots for each scene. I thought they did a pretty good job there. But like, I'm not smart enough for chess. People that play chess are at that level are, are quite impressive to me. Oh, where'd my rings go? There they are. Thought we lost them again. But I thought it was an interesting show, you know. Enjoyed it. And so that's what I was doing when I uh, should have been up here, or should have been down here. Making sure this was all correct. It's close. But, you know, there is a screw-up somewhere. One...
Does it look like a whale from there? Camera angle is terrible, but that's okay. All right. So we're essentially done, right? Something's not right. I got to figure out what it is. I don't know. Play the whole thing out, see what we got. Oh, can we even fit it on the desk space? That's the question. All right. Let me show you. Does that, does that look like a whale? Kind of. There's something off with the head up here that I got to figure out. But it, uh... Once we fill in the rest with the clear rings, it'll look a lot better. It probably looks like a whale. <laughs> uh, that doesn't inspire confidence, but thank you. Uh, let's see here. Maybe I just did that wrong in my... The head's a bit off, yeah. The head is quite a bit off. I don't know why, though. I tell you what, though. What are we at? 45 minutes? 47? Um, I'm going to sit here until I figure this out. because <clears throat> I don't have anything else left to do except finish this. My coffee's made. Oh. I can do this, go upstairs, and uh, chill out for the rest of the night. My dishes are done. The child has been fed. All right, so let me, let me get a good look here. And we're going to orient this a little bit differently for counting purposes. So, you know, if anyone ever watches this on the replay, I am going to neglect the audience for a little bit to figure this out. Yeah, I, I mean, I just got to sit, sit down and figure out where I went wrong. It's fine. Well, there's a problem. Oh my goodness, get in. Ow. It bit me. There we go. All right.
turn. That's 13. Sorry, I'm counting rings and I'm like, I think I found where the problem is. I didn't extend it out far enough. Oh, come on. There you go. Lay flat. That's 13. That's one. And this doesn't get started till here. I'm like, okay. The let me show you what I think is going on. From about right here forward is where I screwed up. I didn't make this long enough. So now I get to figure all that out now. Because these are two rows off. I gotta this is going to be fun. Uh. Should have come down here earlier today and done this. It's irritating. It's it's irritating the hell out of me too, Claire. You know. Okay. It's fine. It's what I get for not paying attention. You know. But it's not the end of the world, and this is all. Fairly easy to manipulate. I'm actually, let's see here. Yeah. All right. So when do you, do you think you'll do your next stream anytime soon? This is the 10% of chain mail that I don't particularly enjoy. Okay, I think using that as our new starting point, we can figure out the rest of this. Make sure you have D&D &D and WoW most, most, most evenings. That's awesome. Well, if you get a chance to do it more, I hope you do. The world needs more chainmail streamers. Right? Especially ones with better camera setups than me. Uh, 
so we're tearing out this part here and moving everything forward. All right, I had to double check that. All right, someone popped in and said hi. Sorry to whoever you were that missed you. I'm trying to figure this out. I don't typically do live streams on, or I, I'm sorry, I don't typically watch live streams on Facebook. There's a couple people that I'll watch, but, so I, I guess I just, I don't expect too many other people to hang out. I really, like, it's been awesome having you hang out, Claire, that's for sure. But, you know, when people pop in, can't say that I typically watch other people's streams unless they're specifically chain mail. All right, now we got to do this on every row. Okay. 
Alrighty. Ooh, four people on. What's going on, guys? All right. I'm tearing this apart because I screwed it up. Now I got to pay pay the price on that. One. Nope, that one goes back in there. Otherwise... Otherwise, we'd be done. Okay. Let me get this ring and I'll show you. Oh, that just tore that ring right out. It's getting kind of uh, tight. Getting these rings in and out. So they're getting... They're popping open. There we go. There. Oh, let's see here. Sorry. Camera abuse. We're making a workout. A big fish. Looking better? out of there. I'm oh, it's an hour and three minutes. All right. Two, one, two. Like, normally these aren't too bad to weave, right, when you're at just adding a row. But getting these things out with your fingers is kind of a pain in the butt. You know? My fingers are burning. I'm actually going to use my pliers to open this. Uh, if I can. Can I? Yeah, okay. 
that wasn't as bad. All right. There. We're going to fix this row and then we're going to call it a night. So, Claire, thank you so much for hanging out with me. It's been a load of fun. Thank you for helping me hone my live stream skills. All right. Come on. All right. Okay. This is it. The moment you've been waiting for. All right. From about here forward is about two rings too short. So I got to get all the white rings moved around to where they need to go. All right. And then make sure my edges are, are correct. And then we'll do the, the clear rings and the loops and hang it up for everyone to see. It'll be fun. And I, I just found a, a dowel rod, the half inch dowel rod. I don't know. That we'll use to hang it. Ooh. But um, I put them in my new shed. All right, we'll put this back in the bag. All right. So thank you very much, Claire, for hanging out. All right, I will talk to you later. Hopefully I see you streaming. Work on that uh, ring supplier project, because that'd be cool. I think, you know, someone's going to do well off of it. Right. When I was looking into how to expand chain mail as a business, right, it was either start print a print uh, company or start making clasps specific to uh, chain mail weaves. Right. So I obviously I went with, you know, doing print stuff, um, but, you know. Chain mail supplies are in, are in hot demand, so I'm told. But good luck with that, and I will talk to you later. Don't forget to go check out mailworks.com. We do uh, have our new car seat covers and some uh, sunshades that we added today. And uh, you should go check those out. We do ship to the UK. So I will talk to you guys later. All right. You guys have a good night.